Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And honor to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And I just want to do a quick video. This is Easter 2018. And um, this is going to be a, a open rebuke, man, to um, those of you who claim you believe in the Bible. Yet you're still um, celebrating this um, pagan uh, uh, festivity known as um, Easter in 2018. And at the end of the day, is once I've brought out this information in this video, if you continue to, to worship in the spirit of Easter, that would mean one thing. It means that you don't fear the Lord. And it also means that you're condemned. Because if you fear the Lord, you would cease from these works, man. All right, so this is uh, Proverbs 14 and 2. He that walketh in his upright is feareth the Lord, but he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him. So like I said, once you find out that Easter is nothing more than a pagan festivity and it's not biblical, through the fear of the Lord, it should seek you to do that which is right, man. You know, and reject the way which is perverse. But those of you who really don't care about the Lord, you don't fear his judgment. Guess what? You're going to continue to um, celebrate Easter because it's what you've always done. It's what everyone you know is doing and you enjoy it. Regardless of whether it be right or wrong in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai. Because ultimately you despise the Lord. You look down on the power of the Lord. You don't fear him. All right. Now. Let's go to Easter in the Holy Scriptures and see what, what's, really, what's really going down. Because the Easter you're dealing with, you know, rabbits are laying eggs. There's got Easter uh, Friday. you got Easter Sunday and all this stuff. You know, eating fish on the Friday and all this stuff. None of that's in the Scriptures, okay? Easter, the word Easter is mentioned once in the Bible, okay? This is Acts 12 and 4. It says, And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quarter, quaternions of soldiers to keep him in, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. All right. Now, it says intending after Easter. Now, you read that and think that in the book of Acts here, this uh, uh, this piece of scripture when it was written in actual fact was speaking of Easter but it wasn't the, the English word Easter was put there because by that time through Christian culture which had perverted the, the ways of the, of the scriptures the, the feast which was actually there in the scriptures had been replaced by Easter alright when you go into the um um the time of Constantine when they incorporated many um pagan high holidays and tried to fuse them with the gospel and that's how you get Christmas that's how you get Easter all right these things are not biblical they were added in um by by um pagans all right like Constantine now. Quite simply, all we got to do is go back to the original text. All right. The original text is in Greek. And just let it load up. All right. All right. So we're going to go down to the word Easter and see if in the Greek the term is Easter. Right. The term there in the Greek for Easter. Strong's G 3957. Pascha. Pascha. Right. Which is from the root word. Pasach. Yeah. Which means Passover. The festival of the Passover. So it was not Easter. It was the Passover. Right. Which the Lord himself kept. With Paul kept the Passover. Alright. If you go. 
to that particular scripture and you click on that Greek word, you will find it. Uh, what then? Where is it? Easter. G3957. It tells you there the Paschal sacrifice, which is a custom to be offered for the people's deliverance of old from Egypt. It's the Passover, right? The Paschal Sup. Yeah, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. All right. Now you see 28 times in the scriptures it was translated into the English as Passover, but the one time it was translated as Easter, which is erroneous. Easter shouldn't have been put in there at all. All right. Now, the feast we're supposed to be keeping is not Easter, it's Passover, right? And the way to keep the pastor, Passover is recorded in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. And on top of that, the Passover is really only supposed to be kept by the Israelites. All right? So if you really want to know how to keep the Passover, how to keep the Passover that the Lord Himself kept, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. You gotta go to Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. Well, really, Exodus 12. I mean, we can go Leviticus 23, but really Exodus the 12th chapter. Read that. That's gonna give you everything you need to know about the Passover. Alright, because the Lord kept the Passover. All right. So let's go to Luke, the 22nd chapter. All right. Now it says, then came the day of unleavened bread when the Passover must be killed. All right. Now the word for Passover here. It's the same word that they translated one time for Easter. Yeah, it's the same word. Pascha, all right? So it's the Passover. And they said unto him, Where wilt thou we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. And you shall say unto the good man of the house, The master said unto thee, where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall shew you a large upper room furnished there make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. All right. And when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, with desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of heaven. Because in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to still keep the Passover because the laws are still going to be uh, are going to be established in the kingdom. So all the high holy days which are written of in the Bible are still going to be kept in the kingdom. All right. In including the Passover. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread, which is unleavened bread, of course, and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them, saying, this is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. So what does that mean? It means that now when we keep the Passover, the Passover is not only for the remembrance of the deliverance that the Lord gave us out of Egypt, it's also in remembrance to 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 Yahweh Shai, who is who is likened unto the Passover lamb. All right, whose blood was shed so that we may be passed over in these last days. So we we when we keep the Passover, we also remember Yahweh Shai. All right, it ain't talking about no what these people call holy communion. No, it's talking about the Passover. All right, this is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. What what are they doing? They're eating the feast of the unleavened bread. Likewise, also the cup after the supper, saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood, which is shed for you. 
all right because the new testament which is with the house of israel hebrews the eighth chapter uh it, it tells you quite clearly that the new testament is made with the house of israel and the house of judah man all right this cup is the new testament in my blood which is shed for you because the old testament was was um sealed in the with the blood of goats all right with hyssop and the blood of goats this testament with israel is being sealed with the blood of yahweh shai but behold the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table and truly the son of man goeth as it was determined but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed so the pascha is the passover that's the feast that we're supposed to be keeping that's the feast that was occurring during during the, the uh, um the the birth and the, the crucifixion of our lord and that's the feast we're supposed to be doing and when we do it we do it in remembrance of him the passover not easter now let's jump to what let's go at what this actual easter is so it's it's, it's really quite simple we're just going to type easter into the dictionary the eatem online dictionary see what comes up Easter old English from Easter from the proto germanic astron dawn also the name of a goddess of fertility and spring yeah perhaps originally of sunrise whose feast was celebrated at the spring equinox from the east toward the sunrise all right to shine especially of the dawn that's where easter easter goes back to ashtar all right the sea, the bead says anglo-saxon christians adopted her name and many of her celebratory practices for the mass of christ's resurrection almost all neighboring languages use a variant of the latin pascha to name this holiday easter egg attested by 1825 earlier pace egg Easter bunny attested by 1904 in children's lessons. Easter rabbit is by 1888. The paganish customs of Easter seem to have grown popular in the 1900s. Before that, they were limited to German Im immigrants. You understand? Easter is named after a, 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 a pagan goddess, which really is Ashtar. All right? We ain't, we ain't supposed to be celebrating no Easter it's the Passover, and the way you do the Passover is put in is in the Holy Scriptures. All right, this is from Scientific American. All right, eggs occupy a special status during Easter observances. They're symbols of rebirth and renewal. Life bursts forth from this otherwise plain, innate object that gives no hint as to what it contains. In this regard, it is a handy symbol for the resurrection of who they call Jesus Christ, but it shouldn't be. All right, and that's not in the scriptures, but it is a symbol that has held this meaning long before Christianity adopted it. There is a meme floating around Facebook that some people have railed around and are sharing as truth of Easter it pertains. Easter was originally the celebration of Ishtar, the Osirian and Babylonian goddess of fertility and sex. Her symbols, like the egg and bunny, were and still are fertility and sex symbols. Or did you actually think eggs and bunnies had anything to do with the resurrection? After Constantine decided to Christianize the empire, Easter was changed to represent Jesus. But as its roots, Easter, which is how you pronounce Ishtar, is all about celebrating fertility and sex. And that's the truth. All right. And then, they, you know, they're going to try and deride you know the 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 information because what happens is people try and hide and make excuses but at the end of the day easter is not in the scriptures neither is eggs and bunnies what's in the scriptures is the passover which is about lamb and unleavened bread and bitter herbs all right let's not try and make excuses now is not the time for excuses now is time for the fear of the lord what don't let these people make excuses for you to, for you to continue doing something which is blatantly wrong all right it's wrong all right it's a pagan holiday which was adopted by a bunch of wicked people who are perverting the gospel of the lord it's a pagan holiday point blank period easter is not in the holy scriptures 
It was never in the Holy Scriptures. Our people never kept Easter. The Passover is what we kept and how to keep the Passover is in the Scriptures. So do it like what the Scriptures say to do it like and fear the Lord. And if you don't want to do that, then guess what, man? The fear of the Lord ain't in you and you're going to be destroyed, man. All right? Simple as that. You, you ain't got no wisdom. All right, and let me just quickly show you that. Passover is really what's in the scriptures. All right. The Lord kept the Passover. Paul kept the Passover. Even after the Lord had resurrected and had gone into the heavens, they still kept the Passover every year. Paul went back to, to Jerusalem to keep the Passover. All right. So you want to continue uh, following that um, uh, Easter, then guess what? You, you're condemned because the truth is plain. All right. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.